Hello, this is Glozell, and um, wow. When I lived in this little place, I mean, it was really small, off of Crenshaw, I was sleeping on the floor, right? And I had my coat to keep me warm. Cause I had this heater, but I was scared to turn it on because it would have to be so close to me on the floor. And I was like, no, you know, I had a feeling about the heater. Don't, don't turn on the heater. Don't, don't. Someone kept telling me, don't turn on the heater. So I didn't. I didn't. But I kept the heater. You know, I had no reason to really throw it away. I just had a feeling about the heater. So I moved to this place, which I love. It's great. And I have the heater. So I turned on the heater and it's been working fine. And then one day I backed up into the heater and I burned myself. And I'm thinking, gosh, what if I had turned it on in the other place? You know, if it burned me, then, you know, I could, I, I could have been dead, you know, for sure, you know, bur burned up. So I'm like, wow, maybe if I turn it down low, you know, don't have it up on high. And I'm like, you know what? This heater burned me. Why am I keeping the heater? What? That doesn't make any sense. You know, a hoarder's mentality, you know, so I'm dehoarding myself. But some people have this mentality when it comes to people and negative thoughts. You know, like you have a feeling about this person that you're not supposed to be around anymore. But, and sometimes it's a relative, sometimes it's a spouse, sometimes it's a coworker. And you know, so you're like, well, I got a feeling, maybe I'll just change my hours or maybe I'll just avoid them. You know, but you got, you got a feeling, but you, you still haven't let it go or, or change where you, your environment, you know, until they burn you. And you still try to justify it. And you had this feeling, you, you know, someone's trying to tell you, whatever that something is, something greater than you is trying to tell you, this is not working. You are going to get burnt. Now, now then, here's the little heater. Now, I'll take a picture of my, my behind and put it up on glowzell.com. But you can see the little ridges here. That's the, 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 the ridges are on my behind. Like, that's the scar, you know. And how crazy would I be to keep the heater that burned me? Okay, so how crazy are you to keep the negative things or the negative people or the negative situation in your life? It'd be just as crazy as me keeping this heater, knowing, you know, like I was fortunate that I just got a scar, you know, that the flick off and it'd be all right. Like I'm fortunate I just got burned and the burn is about like this big. So, you know, what are you doing that is allowing you, that, that's stopping your, your, your joy? You know, there's a song that you need to write. And over here, I can see that there's a degree that you need to get. And there's a doctor over here. There's a lawyer. Yes, you're going to pass that bar. There's a, there's a baby waiting on you. There's a husband waiting on you. You know, there, there's a whole lot. There's a wife waiting on you. Okay, there's a promotion waiting on you. There's a raise waiting on you. You know, there's a, what, why are you getting this? Who, what, what's around you that's, that's you allowing because you are allowing it to stop you so you can allow things to change also okay so there's no excuses there's excuses and results why would I keep this heater why would you keep it around now then after you know it burned me and I still kept it around you know what it started to do it started to burn itself it started to burn itself you know I, it's got to go and I can't give it to somebody else. I need to throw it in garbage because uh, this is horrible So do what you got to do get rid of what you need to get rid of. This is where I'm going through I'm getting rid of this stuff shoot if I do a story on everything I get rid of boy, I'll have another 860 something videos, okay, so um, I was called to teach I guess today, so please get rid of things that burn you, okay? And you know, if you're not feeling good with that person who's leaving you those Twitter messages, emails, facts, uh, Facebook messages, just, you know, bless, them. just send them love, send them love, but, and do what you got to do and, and get out of the situation because soon enough, everybody's going to see who, who the problem was, what the problem was. You know, and they'll start leaving you a message like, oh, you know what? So-and-so must have been jealous of you. Look at all that stuff that, sh that she's doing. Or, oh, he must have been jealous of you. Look at all, look at what he putting out there. Oh, yeah, he was talking about you. Oh, yeah, she was talking about you. Oh, well, you just say, mm, God bless them. Or, I love them. Or, wish them the best. I got nothing to say. Don't get burned up, y'all. Don't get burned up. Over and out. Ooh, I'm going to have to get some aloe or something for my behind.